Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today some pretty big news came out. The Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S3 has been unlocked. When I say it's been unlocked, the bootloader has been unlocked. Previously, we've had to install a custom Kegzek recovery, which worked around the locked bootloader. But a file has been leaked, which gives us access to an unsecured bootloader, which is really stinking awesome. Uh, a tool has been made for Mac and Linux, but also there is a manual method uh, for installing this via Windows, which is extremely easy. So the first thing you want to do is go to your PC, and you'll go to the link in the description that'll bring you to this page. Okay, so when you get to this page, you just want to scroll down uh, to where it says download the A-boot image. Go ahead and download that, and then you're going to open the folder where it downloaded. You're going to hit... I control right click and I'm sorry let's see shift right click and open command window here and then you're just going to go back to the page and you're just going to copy and paste these few little commands it's really easy first of all of course you want to plug up your uh, phone to your computer just go ahead and plug that up and you want to make sure that USB debugging is turned on so you go to apps and settings and it should be under developer options make sure that USB debugging is checked let's see told me that the USB cable was connected so there we go now we can plug in our cable okay so we'll set this to the side Okay, so here all we want to do is just copy and paste these four lines of code here into our terminal emulator. So right now we're just pushing that file to the SD card on our phone. Okay, when that is finished, we're going to go back and copy and paste this ADB shell. Hit enter. Next, we'll go to SU... and hit enter and then the last line of code and we'll paste that and select enter now the unlocking process should begin on our phone okay so the phone should be unlocked uh, after you've typed and pasted everything I was thinking that the phone would reboot and then boot back up but it didn't do any of that so it didn't wipe your data or your SD card which is really awesome because normally when you unlock a bootloader it does wipe data and your SD card and it just totally wipes the phone but here it did not uh, but with this in place uh, you'll now be able to download and install the latest version of CyanogenMod 10 which does not include the Kegzek bootloader you no longer need the Kegzek bootloader process uh, we can just flash ROMs at will with this version just be sure to remember never to um, update via over the air uh, if you download and install an over the air update it could kill the process here and make your phone uh, it could actually brick your phone and uh, also if you do update to a later to a newer version than the one from today as of this video and then you try to do that process um, it could also break your phone so just be sure that if you don't if you do go to the latest version of Android for the Galaxy S3 that you also use the latest version uh, there have been reports that there's already another exploit method that is kind of uh, awaiting Verizon's patch so as soon as they patch it we should have another exploit uh, so anyways really good news unlock bootloader for the Samsung Galaxy S3 you guys can find me at droidbinarx.com for the latest in Android and tech news be sure to subscribe to this channel where I will provide you guys with the latest in video reviews and tutorials uh, also be sure to follow me on twitter at droidmoderx and give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you in any way that helps me a ton thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next one